folks, Saturday night, welcome aboard. It's time for a one shot. Uh, something that you could be on if you would have contacted me. You could have bumped Carol and really pissed her off. Uh, actually, you would have bumped Rob first and then Carol. So I would have needed two people. Uh, if you want to be on a one shot or on the talk show on Tuesdays, M Hobo Inc. Murder, uh, M Hobo Inc gmail or twitter hit us up that being said follow us on twitch follow us on twitter take a look at our youtube archive if you want to shoot the shit about D, &D go ahead and join our discord that carol controls uh, and she kicks me off of regularly because i'm a I, jackass but no uh, he never goes on it he, I, I never. he never chats i'm an old be man nice. i don't need discord uh <laughs> if you want to buy crap like this cool murder hobo con shirt uh, now on sale in our uh, shop, tinyurl.com, RPG swag. Hit that up. Uh, also, uh, if you want some customized dice like Old Big Red and New Big Red, uh, you can hit up uh, at Pirate Dog Dice on Twitter. They make custom dice, and uh, maybe they'll make some for you, or maybe they'll just declare that you're a jerk, and they won't. Uh, hard to say. Uh, and if your game stinks, unlike ours, because ours are all gemstone, not even in the rough. These are polished turds, folks. Uh, polished turds, that's right. Hit up oddfishgames.com. Uh, grab yourself some adventure scents. They come in a variety of scents, even Kill Kyle a group, uh, aka Putrid Sewers. Uh, I highly recommend them for in-person games that really suck <laughs> food, especially if you're in like a dungeon or a mage tower or something like that. Uh, this one happens to be a uh, oh, pirate ship. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Uh, we will get to that in a minute. And of course, big news, big news, big news, murderhobocon.com. Event uh, submissions are still open. Uh, we're really rounding out the venue. Uh, we might even have a couple special guests lined up. Not maybe, we do. Uh, and we have- do? shit ton of uh door prizes uh so you don't even have to be there when uh, it's announced you can just buy a ticket and if you're there great if not uh we'll hit you up later and figure out how to send it to you uh we got shit from walmart gift cards to uh some dark wizard games uh and, and everything in between so check that out murderhobocon.com tonight is a one shot let's introduce you to the people who are going to make you laugh and say what are they doing? Uh, we'll start with Jeff first. Jeff, who are you and who are you playing tonight? I am uh, Jeff. Uh, I am playing uh, Briar Craig, a beer domain cleric uh, who, when he was younger, was captured by pirates. But since he can make us some awesome brew, thought he was pretty cool. <laughs> Not Father Pabst, Father Strohs. Well, Craig, you know, <laughs> he can't turn water into wine, but he can turn it into some cold Coors Light. Now, see there, that should be your tagline. <laughs> uh, next up is Rob. Rob, same question, different answers. Oh, wait, can't use the same answers. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm Rob, and you can usually find me in this time slot on the Cal Calamity campaign, but um, we're having some difficulty getting everybody together and decided to do something different. So uh, that's what we're doing. You can find me at Cthulhu Rob on Twitter um, and occasionally here on One Shots as well. Um, tonight I'm playing Guido the Goomba, who is a full orc barbarian. <laughs> yeah, not racist at all there. <laughs> My mother, my husband, will my probably. sainted mother. You know, you know, um, my husband, I'm sure, knows somebody who can deal with the likes of you. <laughs> he is Italian. <laughs> that being said, uh, Carol, you're up since you're taking a drink. <laughs> I'm only Italian on my mother. You laughed side, long so. enough. I, I took my it took it away. Hi, everyone. My name is Carol. I can be seen on the cred campaign the best campaign on this entire uh, cha Twitch channel. Jesus Christ. You aren't allowed to smoke weed in Massachusetts? I don't <laughs> smoke weed. In the no, no, yes. Frank, she's right. I, that's how I'm I go to sleep. Uh, yeah, but yeah, that's I, don't, I, don't, I don't need it. See, I don't oh, I mean have watching that many... cred, not smoking weed. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You seem to be awake at the end. I mean, you chat enough, so I can usually tell. Hey, answer so, the goddamn question all right, the time frame. All right, all right, all right. So I said I am a what did I say? I'm what am I normally? A, yeah, I'm a longtime gamer, occasional ah. GM, commission mini painter, just launched her own mini painting stream. 
and just became an affiliate after seven sessions. Nicely done. So, yep. Uh, thanks to my followers and such. And you can follow me at uh, muses underscore touch on Twitch. And my streams are Saturdays at 1230, Mondays at 7, and Wednesdays at 830 Eastern time. PM. There you go. Last but certainly not least, John, who <laughs> would have gone earlier, but he moved his camera, so he has to go. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I'm John. Uh, I go by Virtual Depth Online. I am a dungeon master. I play a lot on Roll20. Um, I'm going to be a Murder Hobo Con. I'll be running a Cyberpunk game. So be sure to check that out. Um, other than that, uh, I don't have any kind of websites or anything to promote. So it's just me. There you go. Uh, folks, as I said, this is a one shot. Uh, and these guys are going to entertain you for the next two hours. The only thing I really told them was that they oh. were on a ship. Uh, what they inferred from that is their own problem. As you saw earlier, if you caught the uh, title card, uh, the storm that raged last night had some serious repercussions on your trip to Cathaway, which was where you guys were headed. When you awoke this morning, you found that the main mast suffered substantial damage and the main sail has <whistles> fluttered off into the wind. Uh, you approach Captain Dormont and her first mate, Louis, uh, Louis, Louis, uh, to inquire if you can be of assistance. Uh, the captain is a little bit abrasive this morning due to the problems and asks, unless you can pull a sail out of your arse, uh, no, you cannot. She points out that your trip is going to be delayed uh, and... Uh, your trip is going to be delayed and you will have to put into the nearest port uh, available. At this point in time, a squat gnome runs up with several scrolls. He has a look of concern on his face. Uh, the captain brusquely asks him if he has the answer and he says, I, captain, there be one nearby, but... Uh, the captain furrows her brow and angrily awaits the answer. The gnome, <coughs> uh, Captain, it's freedom, ma'am. And uh, I, 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 I think it's around Emancipation Day. Uh, Dormant and Louis look at each other and head slap. Uh, the news appears to be problematic. What do you guys want to do? <laughs> Stay the hell out of the way of, of her. And by the way, I never said who I was playing. I'm playing Rosa, of course. That's because you said, yammered on too long. <laughs> Rosa the Raven, my swashbuckler. So perfect. It's a pirate scenario. I'm playing a delirious thought writer, and he's a psychic of some sort. You Can know, you tell us what I we're saw supposed that to one do? Coming. <laughs> Can you tell us what we're supposed to do here? Nope, you guys are gonna have to wait. We're gonna put into the port of freedom. What's wrong with three? What's wrong with freedom, man? I'm You've never kidding. heard of freedom. Yeah, freedom, man. Free everything. Free, free freedom. love. Freedom is a small colony off the coast. Uh, it was built by escaped slaves. Uh, some of the slaves include uh, Minotaur. Uh, now, ordinarily. Uh, these large bulls are rather favorable, but if it's Emancipation Day, there's going to be problems. Now that sounds like a load of bull, man. Why are there going to be problems? Well, maybe, I don't know. Bull Can we man, make any? Exactly. Uh, Emancipation Day is the only day the Minotaur allow themselves to consume, and they consume quite heavily, and ha they have something, uh, something <coughs> called, uh, uh, and Louis goes, Payrotechnics. They they shoot them payrotechnics. Payrotechnics. At people. Payroll. You guys have never heard of payrotechnics. You have no idea what it is. Uh, but it sounds fun. I mean, coastal town full of freed slaves. So, yeah. uh, several other crew members come up and begin to become belligerent uh, 
they have heard that they are putting into freedom on Emancipation Day, and there is damn near a small mutiny. Uh, Captain Dormont. I step in front of the boss. Nice. Uh, your presence uh, does little to calm them, does little to make them afraid. Whatever awaits you in freedom is apparently enough to scare the shit out of seasoned sailors. Uh, a few hours later, the coastline appears, and you see the outlines of some buildings. Uh, Captain, uh, I don't, you know, want to harsh on your mellow, ma'am. But I mean, ma'am. But uh, how are they gonna? <laughs> do any repairs on the boat if it's emancipation day i don't think they'll be working we'll be in port at least two days oh so you guys may remain on the boat with the crew who uh doesn't want to go into town or you can go into town and just be back by tomorrow night i guess we could sell some of my special brew you know a uh, festival season uh that special brew, you can ask uh, quite the farthing for it. All right, all right. I think we got us a plan. Uh, as you guys approach the coastline, you notice that the town itself is cut in the center by a river. To the left are the lowlands. To the right uh, are the highlands. Uh, but the entire coastline clearly is uh, low level. There are a set of docks over on the left with some unusual looking warships. Everybody roll Arcana for me, please. Yeah. <coughs> Three. Thirteen. Thirteen. Not roll five. Did I hear three thirteens? I think you did. I got a seventeen. Seventeen. Oh, okay. Uh, Friar Craig, in your experience as a seaman, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you realize that... Uh, those are Minotaur ships. <laughs> so the captain was not pulling your chain. Uh, the Minotaur ships are to your left. Uh, you also notice to the right, those docks, uh, there are very few ships in port. They are all out in the harbor. Uh, and these range from merchant ships to small fishing boats to pleasure craft. Uh, but all four slips are wide open uh, and Dorman gets this look on her face. It's just dread. Uh, they clearly move the Independence, which is the name of your ship, into one of the slips and are greeted by a sparse crowd of dock hands. Uh, ropes are thrown, they are secured, Captain Dorman orders the gangplank down. She and Louis head down first and inquire as to where they can find the weaver and the carpenter. Uh, you four are on the boat. Uh, nobody else is uh, even on deck. Uh, once everything is secured, their ass is under deck. I feel like we're about to witness the purge or something, you know? This is an out of game comment. Yeah. I mean, looking out over the, because you guys are on the top deck, looking out over the deck, <clears throat> people are milling about, going about their normal business. I want to get off this. I want to, I want to find out what all the hubbub is about. So I'm going to, I mean, and if we have somebody who wants to sell, what is it, Friar Craig that wants to sell? John, or uh, Delirious. Delirious yeah. wants to. Oh, Delirious wants to sell uh, some beer. Father Boss, Craig probably just wants to steal. He wants the, to uh, imbibe some beer. <laughs> imbibe and steal the uh, recipe. I'll go with you if you want to sell beer, Delirious. Delirious. Delirio, actually. Delirio. I said it wrong. Yeah, Delirio. Delirio. Well, and I'm sure the people out there too. They will. You know, need to be ministered to. So right I am sure I can provide some tasty brews to lift their morale. For a I, I nominal like confidence. <laughs> Guido, what about you? I go where boss goes. Who's boss? The captain? Delirio boss. Mr. Delirio boss. Uh, you four 
climb down the gangplank. Everybody roll straight up D20. Not that big a deal. 19. Unless you roll a one, right? Unless you roll a one. Oh. I, rolled a, I rolled a three. <laughs> 14. Uh, Delirio stumbles into Rosa, nearly oh. knocking both of you uh, overboard, uh, but you manage to catch your balance in just the nick of time. Uh, as you go down, doc hands are uh, moving to and fro. Uh, you can tell that they are pretty much of a variety of races. Uh, some you may have encountered, some you may not have. Uh, all, all races and cultures here in freedom uh, are looked upon evenly, and that's how it should be. Uh, but, uh, you know, they nod to you, having no clue as to what you are, except for maybe Guido carrying his gigantic axe. No uh, axe. No axe. Okay. No, I have a mall in a, or in a banjo <laughs> case across my back. Awesome. This can't go worse. Uh, as you uh, climb down uh, the long dock, the slips, so there's, there's four piers, two slips apiece. Uh, you can even park a large merchant ship on the tip, but there's nobody in any of the slips. Everybody's gone. Uh, there are a few people on the dock itself uh, discussing with captain -y types, uh, trying to book late passage. Uh, you can deal with the dock hands. You can deal with the civilians on the dock. You can deal with the nautical dudes on the dock. Uh, in front of you are several warehouses to the left of you, uh, there's a slow grade going up. There are no walls in Freedom, uh, so it's just kind of an open setting. Uh, you are on the right side of the river, uh, so left or through the warehouse district are probably your best bets. Um, I ask one of the citizens, I say, good citizen, where is the festivity? Are you, is that your boat? Is that your boat? It's not my boat. Could you point me in the direction of whose boat that is? I, I need to book passage on that boat this evening. Um, I'm not going do... anywhere, man. Sorry. Boat's yes. broken. I it's have a, a lot of money. It money ain't not... going to fix it any faster. Do you have any life rafts? Why are you in such a hurry? Uh, it's Emancipation Day, and as I understand it, rumor is uh, the Minos people have just received a shipment of payrotechnics. What the hell are payrotechnics? What is, yeah, what does that mean? Wait, what, you never heard of payrotechnics? No. They're these, I'm... these things, they're these long things on a stick, and there's a small, like, thread that hangs out and when they light it the the long thingy goes flying off and then if it goes up into the sky it explodes and it's it's colorful and everything's nice but when the minotaurs drink uh their Look, angle is don't so talk good. stupid uh at this time everybody give me a perception check mm -hmm. oh that was great jesus christ uh five <laughs> Okay. Uh, 16. Eight. Eight, 16. 19, you know, natural. 19. I've got no uh, bonus. Guido and Friar, as you listen to Delirio and Rosa discuss uh, the predicament that these people are in, you notice between the warehouses uh, a disturbance of some kind. A moment later, you quickly discover what the disturbance is as a man on a horse is galloping quickly and he's going to go right down the docks by you guys. Quickly trailing behind him is a herd of cattle. Uh, it is a stampede. Uh, the citizens, as well as the nautical folks, throw themselves up against the warehouse. Let's see if you four are fast enough. Everybody give me uh, acrobatics check, please. Ooh, one oh. Jesus fucking Christ. I rolled a natural eight. 20, giving oh. me a 25. A what? An 8? I rolled an 8, eight too. With a I, nat so 1. So I got a 20? No, 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 no. You didn't get an 8. You got a nat 1. <laughs> so I got skill. a nat 20, a nat 1. It's a skill check. Friar I got Craig. a 14. And Dirty uh, 20. Okay. Uh, only Rosa is unable to dodge out of the way. Rosa, odd, you're going was... in the drink 
Steven, you're going to get trampled. Your uh, your future is in your hand. Oh. Uh, even. <laughs> Ow. D4 to see how many cattle stomp the shit out of you. <laughs> Rosa, D4. Oh, 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 oh. I thought you were rolling it. No, nope, it's, it's your fate. So usually you roll. Your oh, a four. He's giving you fate. A four. Oh, oh, no. oh yep. boy. Who's got the healing? Because she's about to get shit kicked. Uh, 2d6. And that, there's a lot of murder hobos in this pile. Uh oh. They got anything here. Well, that is unfortunate. Out of the eight, I rolled four fucking ones. So is Frank's that dice love the players. Uh, but I got two murder hobos. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> yeah, 12. Or love it, hate it. 21. Nice. Uh, 23. Jesus damage. Christ. Really? Yeah, uh, there's about thirty cattle, <laughs> and uh, the, I just... the guy on the horse just leads them down towards the river and hangs a right. I uh, should mention that my hands are now full of warhammers. Nice, uh, Rosa is got hoof prints all over herself. Are you still conscious already? Yep. Fuck Rosa, I got to protect the boss. Not much. Hey Rosa, uh, I think you're supposed to dodge those cows. Ah, Swashbuckler. Ah, 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 ah. All right. Ah. We're going to do a, uh, a cure wounds on her. All that time on ship. I'm so quick. I'm so nimble. Ah, ah, ah. You guys ever see the replacements? Mm, yeah. The football movie? Your partner damn near knocked her head off. <laughs> I get stuck out in the middle of the crew of the, of the street. Okay. <laughs> uh, hey, at least you made it down the gangplank. <laughs> so you made it on terra firma. Uh, how much uh, healing do you get her there, Friar? That'd be good. <gasps> Anything would be good right now. All right, let's see. There's a what? little Tweety bird going around her head right now. Oh, nice. Got her eight plus five. That'll help. Nice. Well, okay. Uh, it's not the, great, but it'll help. The citizens continue to hug the building uh, with the rest of you, and they're now starting to shift down. Everybody roll perception checks. He dies. Oh, I now I get a fucking nat 20. I got a three. This is a good skill I have, and I can't roll. Nine. Um, nine. That's what uh, the nat for. Nat 20. Friar Guido and Delirio, you don't hear shit. Rosa, you definitely do not hear shit coming. Uh, there is just dead silence from that gap between the warehouses. Uh, there's still a few civilians if you want to ask them what's going on, or you can just move along. Why in the heck? Sure, I'll ask them why the heck is there a bunch of cattle roaming about this town or stampeding through this town? It doesn't it's seem like a town that would have. It's Emancipation Day. But what are the cattle? They were let go. Uh, the Minos people that have what you call a fertility right. <laughs> are, are they doing that? To, is the cows running away from that right? The cows are being led to the lowlands. Led to or. I mean, how are they controlling them? That was a stampede. Uh, no, there was a guy in front and a guy in back. Okay. That was Groucho and Harpo. That's from their farm. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. I just want you know. I want to get to That's a bar. A and not let me see his face. We we need to go find a bar. I just guys, want a bar so can... to go drink heavily. I I forget uh. this. I can uh, I can shoot you a cold blast. <laughs> we gotta sell this. Yeah, now hang on a second. Uh, Friar Craig or Delirio, are either one of you bringing in your stock? Well, I figure we would get. Uh, yeah, I guess we have a wheelbarrow somewhere. We must be pushing <clears> along. 
Because I, I, I should make it. you I should make you roll a disadvantage on everything if you're gonna be hauling your shit around. Well, well wouldn't Guido be carrying it, you know, just no, he's the protection. He's not the guy to carry stuff. He's the heavy it's, guy. You know, I, I'm here for morale, you know, not I'll literally, push a wheelbarrow. Literally of, could a just barrel strap a kegs to me and I wouldn't even notice the weight. I'll, I'll I'll rule that you didn't have it with you. That's why you didn't have to roll disadvantage. You can go back on the ship and go get it, and then roll the wheelbarrow. But any skill checks uh, while holding said wheelbarrow, you will be at disadvantage. All right. Well, Unless I want to wheelbarrow it to the first. I'll run back, grab it, and bring it to the first bar we see. Okay. Because I'm trying to <laughs> sell it. So uh, the naval personnel are pointing towards the river uh, as you go by. Several buildings are still open. Uh, you see Captain Dorman and Louis uh, going into two of said buildings. One is a seamstress and the other is a cartographer. Uh, they are right next to each other. The pair split up and they go their separate ways. Captain Dorman is being pestered by the civilians who desperately want to get out of town. As you guys continue down the dock front, Multiple buildings are present there, most of them being warehouses or guild merchant uh, buildings. Uh, but as you kind of turn the corner, boom, uh, the merchant section opens up and there is uh, one of the bigger buildings in town is Old Peppy's. And it looks and it smells like a bar. Old Peppy's? Go see Old Peppy. Old Peppy's. Uh, as, as you walk in, uh, who wants to walk in first? I do. Who walks in second? I will. Okay. Guido, uh, as you open up the door, a tankard comes sailing out the door. Give me a dexterity check. It's a bar fight. It's no. a bar fight. I have locked the yet. tankard. It might hit the boss. Fair enough. Uh, you're going to take 1d4. Three hit points of damage, and you smell like old ale. As you walk in, a jaunty sea tune, a shanty, if you will, is being played, and a guy on this huge box-like instrument, an organ, is just tooling along. To the left are dancing girls uh, dressed in scanty apparel. Their charismas are probably not that good. I'm going to use the big dice, folks. The way you roll usually, they're terrible. Seven, nine, and 13. So, eh, you know, a couple beers, you'll be fine. Uh, the place is two levels. It's a split level bar in the center is where the main bar is. Uh, when people order upstairs, they've got a dumb waiter. <clears throat> this place is rocking. Uh, every single race you've ever encountered is here. Uh, there must be like 100 people here. Just a 100. Uh, everybody perception check. Uh, the wheelbarrow doesn't count on perception check. Seven. Oh, yeah. Seven. Eight. Plus two. Nine. One. Wow. Eight. Natural one. Nice. Perception. 14. Sixteen. Okay. Rosa and Guido, you hear something. Uh, Delirio, you are now surrounded by patrons holding tankards, noticing your wares, and inquiring just what it is. Uh, Friar Craig, you may follow Guido and Rosa, who were one and two, or you can stay behind with Delirio to make sure he's okay. Yeah, I'll stay with Delirio. Fair enough. Guido and Rosa, as you weave your way through this thick crowd, you hear an argument brewing. Uh, a half-orc stands up and angrily points at an individual whose back is towards you. And he says, you are full of shit. There is no way you flew. Um, I'm going to watch. I like a good bar fight, so uh, the individual <sighs> I'm totally going to watch this. The individual from the back appears a lot like Friar Craig. He's got the old monk haircut. He's wearing kind of uh, aged but very acceptable robes. Uh, Rosa, give me a perception check. That is cocked. 
Uh, I don't think that's no, that's not good. That's two on dice. You, you cannot hear the that's, individual. Yeah, it's a five, so yeah. yeah. You cannot hear the individual, and the half orc is getting angrier and angrier and demands <sighs> if he thinks he's gonna win the pot, he has to show proof. What are they doing? Like I'll some argument. Cut to Delirio. Uh Delirio, you have Five people surrounding you. Hey, what you got in there? What you, what you, what you? Well, it's going to the back room. We're taking this to the back room. You can follow. I am a back room kind of guy. I can help you out. Yeah, let's go. Go help me make make a way through. You got to turn around. You got to turn around to get to the back room. You got to turn around. I want to see if I spot where it really needs to go to go talk to the. uh, the, I really want to talk to the owner. Uh, the bartender is probably there. Okay, the bartender I'll, then. I'll try to uh, distract the uh, people that are up to him. It's like, hey, man, you can get one of these. It's all right. You know, just let us talk to the bartender. We got to get, get him set up, and then you can have this glorious brew. Imported. Not truly. Uh, Friar Craig, give me a, give me a performance roll. Uh, performance or persuasion? <clears throat> Either one. All right. We got us a. If we do uh, persuasion, I got a 16. Uh, the guy with the sausage finger starts poking you in the chest. He goes, But I'm first. I'm first. I'm <laughs> first. And you can tell this guy is trashed. Uh, <laughs> but you can also tell that those stubby fingers hurt. <laughs> so. Uh, then the other four start clamoring to jockey in position to have this imported swill uh, to be consumed first. There starts to become a little push and shove match. <laughs> all right, I say, hey, oh. and they all they all have tankards, right? Oh yeah. I say, all right, just this once, I'll do this little trick for y'all. Y'all line up with your cups, and I will. Uh, Point it at me, and I will fill them up for you. Hold on. Uh, Delirio, are you going to try and make a break around these ding-dongs? Yeah, I'm going to, while he, they're being distracted there by mm-hmm. the fryer, I'm going to, like, wheelbarrow around them and head over to the bartender and tell them I'll give them this barrel of imported fine ale for, uh, you know, whatever market value is. Is this 20 gold or something? Maybe 30. I don't know how much a barrel goes. Persuade me. All right. I got uh, dirty 20. Uh, just in time. I will give you... Uh, I'll give you 66 gold for that thing. Yeah, it sounds great. Yeah, man, this is great stuff. You're definitely going to want some because it's it's really good. It's just brought it in from wherever Wyoming. <laughs> Wyoming. <laughs> uh, okay, Friar Craig. What are you going to do? Um, all right, do they line up with their cups pointed at me? Fuck yeah, they do. <laughs> All right, we're going to do an Elridge blast. Oh my I god. Like Eldritch. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Uh, Let this party get started. Okay. Yeah, yeah I, I think right. I can throw away this because this is not going to happen tonight. So, okay, go ahead. Eldritch blast the <laughs> shit out of them. All right, we're going to say, all right, hold on to your cups. Real tight. Oh, shit, I missed. Five. He hit somebody else on accident. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> a five, you say? Yeah. Oh, wait, but I got a... It's a ten with my uh, with my ability bonus. Uh, okay. Uh, you try and Eldridge Blast him, but you're off, and you hit a hanging chandelier filled with hot candles. It collapses on a group of... Oh, oh no. Warlocks. Their eyes, their tabber, their uh, robes are now covered in alcohol, <laughs> and they get up like they're in 16 candles after all the tin cans fall. Uh, <laughs> shit's about to get real. So, Rosa and Guido, uh, you're still behind this guy who's talking, and the half orc is getting mad on the table. There is a rather hefty collection of coins. Give me one more perception check. 
Oh, that was a lot better. That's uh, 13 plus 3, 16? Nope, I'm looking around for the boss. Fair enough. Uh, the boss is Back uh, there. over at the bar. Uh, Rosa, you see a female, a young female, maybe teenage female, raven hair. She is bringing two tankards to the table. I don't think you recognize her. Uh, she sets one tankard down in front of the individual who turns and offers a profile look. Uh, give me another perception check. Man, that is good. Uh, so that's 10. You utter the words, Mortimer? No! We're doing crossover. Mortimer? Is it Mortimer J. Steen? The individual turns around and looks at you and he goes, Oh, no. Oh, I know you. <laughs> I didn't uh, say I this, this, <laughs> this is my goddamn proof right here. So this money is mine. The half orc then what crosses his arm and looks intently at you and says, "Well, what? What are we betting on here?" This guy says he's flown in some kind of balloon contraption. He absolutely is right because I was with him. Holy crap. <laughs> Boy, this worked out, huh? How, how, why should I believe you? I don't know. I mean, there's two of us here saying it happened. It was a balloon. You've never seen a, a hot air balloon? What it looked like. Hey, 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 hey. And he points at Mortimer. He goes, You just shut up. What it looked like. I, I describe it. I don't freaking remember what it exactly looked like. Man throws his tanker down and storms away, as does his friends. Mortimer reaches over and gathers a rather large cache of coins. And he goes, well, long time no see. Have I'll take, can I, I, I think I earned a cut of that. And I will sure. take a seat. Well, now you do understand the standard economics. or well, I understand that I just build your ass out of that fight. Folks at home, and uh, for John and <laughs> Jeff, uh, Mortimer J. Sneed is a longtime favored NPC from the Cacophony show. He was currently on sabbatical from the Grand Academy and got the party, including Rosa, in a great deal of trouble, including using Rosa's face as an anchor against the Mage's Tower. That is, I believe, episode I 100, maybe? Knocked, didn't I knock off the... Was that what I knocked you off the knock thing? Knock off a gutter. It's just a tower? Griffin gutter. Yeah, with well, your what, what the hell's her name? Um, what the hell's her name if you can't stand me now? Uh, the, the list one in is charge. long and distinguished. No, uh, the, the one there from the Mage's Tower. No, no, just this character, Frank. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, Jesus. <laughs> I, I'd have to look it up. It oh. was... It, I think she was from, uh, she was, she was a reference too. Yeah. Uh, Morgana, I think. Uh, nice. give, me, give me a percentage roll, Rosa. Percentiles. All right. Uh-oh. 84. Uh, so he'll give you 16% of the cut, which equates out to about 37 gold. All right. Okay, uh, Rosa, your village. Guido, I'll you take still it. have no idea what's going on. Uh, you're still watching the boss. Uh, the boss seems to be haggling, doing some business. Do you want to head over to the boss? Do you want to definitely heading room? over to the boss? Okay. As you walk by, you walk by Friar Craig and the four guys still holding their mugs. Friar Craig, I don't understand. Meanwhile. <laughs> The warlocks have risen and they unfold their hands out of their robes and lightning starts to crackle from their fingertips. They seem to be somewhat perturbed at your actions. How would you like to proceed with your four newfound drunk friends or five newfound drunk friends who all want in line and the table of warlocks? Um. I am going to walk towards Guido and say, oh, my bad, my bad. I was just trying to liven up the party. It's all uh, good. It's all good. Uh, Rosa, Mortimer 
sees what's going on. He goes, ooh, the warlocks are taking the hypotenuse. Watch and learn, young lady. That way you'll save your face. Uh, Friar Craig, as you make a beeline towards Guido's ass, you can see the warlocks are on an intercept course. Two are going to try and cut in front of you. Two are going to cut in behind you. And like Snow White, the five drunks are following behind you like a <laughs> serpent. Uh, Delirio, you have now concluded your business. Uh, the man gives you 66 gold and asks you if you have any more. It is going to be a long night and he would gladly purchase it. Um, you notice Friar Craig, or actually you notice Guido pushing his way through the crowd to get to you. Uh, and Friar Craig, uh, you know, is a centipede and he's got some angry people uh, looking to intercede. What would you like to do, Delirio? I'll move over toward Guido uh, <clears throat> to give him some backup in case good the fight comes out. Uh, yeah, yeah, good call. Uh, in case, just in case. We know you have successfully reached uh, the boss. Uh, there are some people that aren't real happy that you were all pushy shovey, uh, but understand that uh, from the look of you, that's probably your nature. Friar Craig, yeah, you've been cut off. <laughs> um, I'm going to try to use my telekinesis to uh, push them out of the way so I can go around them. Front two or back two? Front two. Okay. Is that a save or you got to hit me? Uh, no, it's a save. Uh, hang on real quick. I got a... a four and a nine, so I'm guessing no. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. To make that save. Uh, yeah, I think they failed that. How far do you thrust them back? It's just five feet. Into a table of <laughs> <laughs> barbarians. Oh, oh no! Is, uh, do we have like a whole class? table of barbarians? So wait, wait. Do we have a single? Every table is a different class. Yeah. Because you got a class, you like a table. There, there's of some warlocks. civilians in here too, so it's it's an adventurer's port. So you know, <laughs> we want to have some good time. You know what? I'll tell you uh, what. Let, where's let the me... table of bards? <laughs> oh, the table of Where's the table of bards. There's a thieves guild table. Oh no, <laughs> yes, there is. I got yeah. a stab in the back then. Uh, good news, Friar Craig. Uh, the two that you pushed back have spilled the beers on the Amazonian women, and they have taken offense. Uh, two of these brutal weightlifting princesses pick up the warlocks and heave them up to the second level, maybe. Oh, no. This is getting to be oh, Guido's kind of party. No. Uh, the overhang is not the angle <laughs> they expected, and they crack both warlocks into the overhang, causing everybody on the second level to watch and learn. <laughs> uh, the other members of the barbarian female troop uh, eyeball the other two warlocks and they're like uh, and they take a shine to Friar Craig uh, the one in charge has a 17 charisma uh, as her rabbit skin bikini because wow. I'm a misogynistic pig uh, and her fur lined boots uh, look at you and go well well <laughs> Uh, I Grabs apologize. a hold of you by the shoulder and says, this one mine. <laughs> Plops you down next to her, next to her lieutenant. Hey, look, a, boss. The a got a date. charisma. Uh, so, yeah. You're at the table of beauties, I guess. Friar uh, got lucky. Rosa, over <laughs> at your table, uh, Zephyr, I don't think you knew Zephyr. You never came into contact with her? I don't think so. Okay. Uh, I the name is familiar, though. Yeah, you'll know who she is by yeah. watching, but you you wouldn't know her as a player. Uh, they are still headed back to Cacophony. So oh, far, Zephyr. They, they, yeah, they have, I do know yeah, who she is, yeah. Yeah, they have left Cacophony. They are headed back to the Grand Academy. So uh, they ask if there's any news from Cacophony when, since last uh, you met. 
I wouldn't see that wish it was my ship because the last time I was in Cacophony, I found a ship and I rode off in it. Uh, but then that I do it. Oh, you're no! coming back in different ship. This ship almost sank. Mm. No, I left it somewhere and I actually joined this crew. She started. Fair enough. So uh, I don't have a lot of news from Cacophony, but I was going to ask, where are you, are you still on sabbatical from the Grand Academy? Yes, but I am returning and I am taking young Zephyr here to become a student, an initiate, if you will, more of an acolyte, a purveyor of tomes, uh, an individual who wishes to study, someone who seeks out knowledge. And I Zephyr, know what you mean. Zephyr taps his hand and he stops. Uh, because if you watch the show, Mortimer J. Sneed can ramble on a bit. Yeah, uh, I didn't yeah, even know he stopped. Yes, stop. he flipping can. Yeah, give me a charisma can? check, Rosa. Check. Uh, what is that? Is that 14? I can't forget to see anymore. It is a 14 plus 3 is uh, 17. Fair enough. Uh, your story enthralls both. Uh, Delirio, uh, you are next to your bodyguard, Guido. It seems as though for the most part, Friar Craig has escaped the fire, but potentially maybe in the frying pan with the barbarian women. He looks like he's got everything under control, but what about the people that he was trying to, that were trying to, he was trying to fill their glasses. Uh, they're just standing behind him. I say, <laughs> Hey guys, uh, I sold that uh, special brew to the bartender now. So you can go get some. Uh, make a dexterity check as they attempt to run through you to get to the imported shit. Uh, dexterity check check not save uh, that would be a six oh, let's see whose table you fall into <laughs> you are knocked asunder uh, that is a repeat so you are knocked into a table of citizens d12 against me to see if you spill any of their brew eight a ten uh, fortunately, they do not spill any brew. Oh, 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 oh. So, uh, they seem to be friendly. Hey, sorry, guys. You know, just, you know, hanging out. What are y'all drinking? There's some really good new stuff. Just sold it to the bartender. I want to well, go check it out. We're drinking uh, something called urines. Yeah, I wouldn't drink that if I were you. I think he's a brewer from the north. It is a pale ale. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Here, taste it. <laughs> I'll taste it. Just what the hell? Uh, give me <laughs> a uh, Constitution check. Okay, I got eleven. It's okay. Is it actually ale? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, Urens is the guy who brews it. Uh huh. I don't know what Urens. you guys were thinking, but you know. <laughs> I'm sure you don't. You... Urians. <laughs> Special filtered water. Uh, Friar Craig, uh, your newfound love introduces herself as Sheila E. And uh, she is getting <laughs> handsy. So you younger viewers, you're going to have to Google a shitload of these references. Yep, there's a lot of them in this game tonight. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So Father Craig, uh, she's putting the night moves on you. I'm going to say... Baby, she Sheila. thinks you're a prince. Sheila, you are gorgeous, but I am a man of the cloth. Not if I but, take off the cloth. <laughs> <laughs> I motion over to Guido. I say, come meet my friends. They will. You will love these guys. Guido, uh, you seem to... Yeah, well, you know what? First off, roll perception check. Let's see if you see Father Craig being molested. Okay. Natural 20? Uh, yeah, you're watching this unfold. Thinking, <laughs> mm -hmm. But then you see him start to motion towards you. Are you going to be a wingman or are you just going to leave him hanging? Because your boss is right there. On the job. <laughs> you're on your own, <laughs> Friar Craig. <laughs> Also have steady boyfriend. <laughs> well, yeah, there you go. You're on your own, Craig. 
got a uh, nice I'll, I'll over. Yeah, over. Over. like a horse bite on your thigh. Delirio will head over and go, hey, can you, hey, lady, what's your name? And you met my friend here, Craig. I'm Let's right see. behind him. Let's see what um, she thinks of you, guy. Delirio. Not 20. <laughs> Friar Craig, you are pushed out of your chair ruthlessly. Delirio, have a seat. <laughs> wow, really? Get that some, 20, boss. I mean, Get you some. Know, that's still, I mean, but still, I mean, geez. Uh, but Delirio, Sorry, Craig. Uh, Sheila E. tells uh, you to have a uh, lunk there take a hike because she doesn't like him with a seven. Good news, Friar Craig. The lieutenant with a 16 <laughs> charisma, eh, she'll help you up. <laughs> yeah. What, what? How long have you guys been in town? A bell rings over the bar, and you see a stately, smartly dressed man step atop the bar uh, with old Pepe helping him up. Uh, the room goes silent. <clears throat> I need eight adventurers to guard the bridges tonight, and I'm willing to pay 200 gold apiece. Uh, murmurs are heard throughout the bar, uh, and a lot of... Uh, <clears throat> I wanted this to be my night off. Boss, but, uh, how much is 200 and 200? Not like that. <laughs> uh, it's 200. Not a lot of takers. However, a group Sitting at the uh, paladin table. <laughs> I told you, every table's got one class. Stand up. All paladins. For our honor, we can assist the Brothers of Meat. <laughs> uh, four stout-hearted clerics, one with a chicken on their shield. Anybody uh, got a shrubbery? <laughs> There are no shrubbers. That's a different table. Did uh, Brave Sir Robin want to run away? Uh, they have volunteered uh, as half the mission. Uh, uh, you hear muttering, I don't want to guard either of the bridges. I'm not doing it. Let's do it. Well, apparently Let's do it, there are two bridges. I'm guarding bridge with boss. Or you can sit in here all night long. I don't, I don't give a shit. Let's go, guys. I, I, I wrote it like this. <laughs> I, I asked the uh, barbarian ladies, y'all want to come guard the bridge with us? That'll be fun. We'll be hanging out on a bridge at night. Very um, romantic. What? It'll be awesome. That's the look you get back. They just don't want to do it. They think you're crazy. They'd rather take you to their room. I mean, they, you know, bridge is not very private. Trust me, all. boss. Oh, uh, actually, they re really wouldn't give a shit about that. There's something else about the bridge that's problematic. Mm, try to make an insight check as to what they think's wrong. Sure. I got a twenty, dirty twenty. Uh, clearly, there is something wrong, but you're going to have to ask him if you want the real answer. Why don't you want to go uh, to the bridge? Don't you think it'd be fun? Look, lover boy. The bridge is where the Minotaur will be coming across if they get drunk tonight. Hmm. And then you'll have to fight them. I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight the cow guys. Are you saying that they wouldn't be welcome in the town? Not drunk, armed with pyrotechnics. Oh, okay. So if no one guards the town, they just come in and just blow up the town? Burn the whole place down? Potentially, if they drink too much. Wow. Win. That's far out. So yeah, uh, and Rosa uh, Mortimer will also be giving you the same information. Apparently, uh, in the Minos culture, they use something called the pyrotechnics, uh, which is... Hey, Mortimer! Uh, what are, what are pyrotechnics? Uh, though pyrotechnics are uh, long, elongated missiles of a variety of different constructs, sometimes pottery, uh, sometimes copper, uh, 
fashion to a point. Now, these projectiles do, in fact, once lit, uh, move rapidly at a very fast rate. And depending upon the arc or the typography of the structure, uh, there may be some uh, significant damage if one were to, say, stand in front of the pyrotechnics, also known as works. So Rosa looks like she actually understands all that. Goes for shit for shits and giggles around and roll the die to see if you like an intelligence check to see if just for the sake of knowing why not you get it. And I rolled a nat 20. So she totally understands everything yeah. he's saying. Yeah. And she's Makes like, sense. oh my gosh. So and they I would assume then they could burn down buildings and sounds <sighs> Really stupid. Uh, stupid there have been do. several fires, historically speaking, when the Minos culture get out of hand. Fortunately, this is the only festival that they celebrate with alcohol. So uh, despite this uh, problem, it is normally held in check. Usually, as I am told, uh, brave adventurers try to quell any discrepancy. I'm sure those four silver sodden individuals will handle their job at one bridge but if nobody helps them they'll be split up two on two and they won't stand a chance we should definitely help them come on guys yeah, yeah let's help them i think i could use my uh my abilities to maybe help them so they won't be so uh you know reckless Meanwhile, uh, those five guys have now finished their first round of swill. Oh, shit. Uh, a two, a one, a one, a four, and a nine. Your beverage is not a hit. Oh, no. And that's, that, taste. that's after drinking PBR all night long or Strohs, for God's sake. Yeah. Or if you're really old, Schmitz beer. Schmitz there was the such a thing. Uh, so those guys are all about half. Well, two of them are harfing at the bar. Could uh, be worse. Could be Jack's. <clears throat> yeah. From the swill. <sighs> so uh, it's up to you guys. Uh, Friar, Guido, Delirio. You can see Rosa. Rosa can see you. Uh, the warlock problem has uh, evacuated. Uh, they certainly are not going to be volunteering for jack shit since two of them are missing teeth. Uh, it is up to you. It is uh, about early evening. So, you know. I, I uh, assume this is a short rest, right? Uh, yeah, I'll give you a short rest since you're sitting down and relaxing. Yeah, it's going to matter because I was still down hit points. So let's see. Sure. Friar Craig, what are you doing? I think I'm going to raise my hand and say, hey, uh, I got some guys. We'll do it. Uh, Delirio and Guido, uh, do you want to spit <laughs> out your beer and say, what the fuck? I hope you brought <laughs> friends in your pocket. We're going to get our shit pushed in by Minotaur. <laughs> this is like training no. day. <laughs> I Don't think we fun. can handle the Minotaurs. I mean, they're, we just got to appeal to their good nature. Sure. Uh, right. Rosa, I'll you use blunt weapons. Uh, Rosa, you also hear this? Uh, seems as though Friar Craig has volunteered you guys. <coughs> I roll, I kind of roll my eyes, but I was, Mortimer explained it pretty well, and I was already pretty much going to go anyways. Well, Good hey. luck. They probably won't hurt your face any worse than the tower did. Huzzah! You're funny. <laughs> Starts drinking. Where are you go? Well, I mean, yeah, I, I was hoping that she, hopefully she was able to get a drink during that whole time. Oh, yeah, you guys can all have drinks. Did anyone want to drink excessively, you know, for courage? <laughs> no. No. Okay. On the job. Rosa might have started that way, but as soon as all this chat about going to guard the t uh, tower, she would have stopped. Yeah. So uh, the Viceroy waves you forward. Uh, the four knights stand there very stoically, hands on their blades. Uh, they just look like they're going to clean house. 
Uh, you four wander up like you're <laughs> going to see the wizard. <laughs> We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard. Uh, and the Viceroy says, uh, let's see, what do you think of you guys? <laughs> Anybody else? Anybody? Tiny men funny. Literally. That's hey, fine. Anybody else? If you don't want us, I'll go be sitting back there drinking. See you later. Oh, no, no, I'm, I'm kidding. That's frivolity. Uh, Is it okay. I, uh, I, I appreciate your, uh, your honor and uh, uh, your due diligence. Uh, let the festivities continue. The piano player uh, kicks it up. Uh, the bartender yells, Joel. Play something else. Uh, the uh, dancers I hate start dancing. Uh, oh, Joel. Joel. Uh, hey, you, sing us a song, piano player. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I, I I only got one more set, and then my friend Elton's coming on. So you're just gonna have to wait. I'm not <laughs> doing. Stay it. off that high note. I, you know, I, I have to go get a drink really fast. <laughs> I I saw Elton over there, and he's barely just still standing. <laughs> yeah, he is. He is, but he's I hear you he play better than he ever did. Uh, nice. Oh you my god! I, I, I wish you guys the best, but I think it's going to be a candle in the wind for you guys. <laughs> uh, you guys have been assigned Liberty well, Bridge. <laughs> I was going to say, as long as to turn to, as long as we don't start the fire. I mean, oh, nice. <laughs> any any uh, any other Elton John, Billy Joel jokes? Okay, you guys are going to be assigned hey, Liberty Bridge. <laughs> now, I asked if there were any more. <laughs> Sorry, six intelligence. I'm going to hit you so Sorry. hard, you're going to be a rocket man. Yes, thank <laughs> you. I was trying to figure out how to do a rocket man joke. Oh, don't worry. Rocket <laughs> man will play a part later this evening. Uh, so, uh, you have been assigned Liberty Bridge. Technics. The Viceroy points out uh, that the paladins will guard Washington Bridge, which is a little bit further away, eh, kind of in a sketchier uh, neighborhood, but since they're all wearing tin cans, they should be okay. Liberty Bridge uh, sits right on the juncture of Minos uh, Town, their district, uh, you know, like Chinatown or something like that, but it's Minos Town. They're right up uh, against the shoreline, kind of. Uh, and then the street, that Liberty Bridge cuts through uh, makes up different other races. Uh, so the Minos folks clearly have the dock area. Um, and that's We're a little Cathaway. I'm sorry? Yes. We're a little Cathaway. We're a little Cathaway, but we're growing. Uh, as he asks if you guys need directions. Uh, I don't think I've ever been here, so probably. Has Vidy been here? <coughs> I think we need directions. While we're in the bar uh, with the Viceroy, I'm going to ask for a couple of pitchers of water, you know, so we can take with us uh, to the bridge. Sure. Although you can grab river water if you want. We'll give you some rope, too, so you can just dunk the pitcher in and bring it up. <laughs> uh, there's no filtered water here. <laughs> uh, he gives you suitable directions, tells you uh, just, you know, at dusk, uh, Nobody goes either way. So bridge is closed. So if you want to stand in the middle of the bridge uh, and just, you know, everybody knows once darkness falls, no Chrissy Crossy. So yeah, let's know, do that. That, that, that's, that. That's the rule. Everybody knows it in town. Uh, visitors like yourself would not know that. So if you have people trying to cross the bridge, you tell them to go the other way. Is there anything around there that we can use to like kind of barricade that bridge? Uh, actually, no. The bridge sits right at the plaza. Uh, we can get you some lumber if you want. Yeah, lumber. Better than anything. Sure. sure. Make, make uh, your standard uh, no enter signs. Uh, you guys head out of the tavern or any other questions? I'm going to pick up a chair on the way out. So oh, you're yeah. stealing a chair. Borrow. Okay. Uh, it's going to be wrecked, so, you know. Yeah. Borrow. He's going to use it on somebody. He'll return, he'll return <laughs> it in pieces. Uh, after you guys have had all your questions answered, uh, you are given a plate of food, uh, you know, as, a, as a, an inducement. 
Uh, everybody roll con check. See how you like it. It's not poison. All right. Well, you know, guys, it's Saturday night's all right. So we'll be all day. It's definitely Let's all right see. for fighting. Bay City Rollers <laughs> are not in town tonight. <laughs> I don't I do. like it very well. That's only a con check. So that's yeah, it's only it's only six. It's uh, I got Rita it. likes it. Rosa hates it. Fryer. I got an eight. Friar doesn't much care for it. Delirio. Uh, Sixteen. Yeah, you like it. These others I, are bitchers. I put a shit aside and I might go for my pocket rations. Fair enough. Uh as you uh exit the building. Uh, it's it's dusk. It's not dark yet. Uh and you notice uh some of the merchants, for some reason, are boarding up their windows. I think we know the reasons. We've seen enough. I think we're supposed to stop the reason. Probably. Uh, exactly. Yeah. If well. you can. Uh, as you continue to meander through, uh, once you get past the mercantile businesses, there's a large plaza uh, with cobblestones. Mismatched cobblestones. It's still under construction. Uh, there's kind of water leaking a little bit. Uh, but you notice two bridges. Uh, the knights are being led by the guy with the chicken on his shield. And they're hut, 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 single file. Do, 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 right past you. They turn smartly. Good luck, our friends. And hut, 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 hut. They go about three blocks down where there's another bridge. Uh, these bridges are actually kind of nice that make the span. Uh, they are all uh, multicolored cobblestones. They have about three foot uh, ridges on it. The center of the bridge, uh, the cobblestones are kind of depressed and you can surmise this is from all the cart movement uh, back and forth. Uh, there are hanging pots of oil along the bridge at about five foot intervals. Uh, give me, uh, everybody just give me a straight up D20 roll. <clears throat> 16. 9. 11. 15. Uh, Delirio and Guido, you can surmise that this is an urban, uh, up and coming urban area. Uh, these are street lights, most likely. Uh, normally they would be humans, uh, spit on torches, but, uh, these are nice oil bowls. Uh, on the deck of the bridge are colorful flowers. So uh, this is duplicated over on the Washington Bridge where the Knights uh, do not care. They have formed a straight line, two and two, two facing one way, two facing the other, forming this metallic wall. Ain't nothing going to get past these guys. In the river, you notice several small, almost canoe or kayaks. Uh, and these people have kind of anchored themselves in the middle of the river uh, for no apparent reason. Uh, the drop between the bridge and the river is anywhere from seven to 10 feet, depending on the current, depending on any debris in the river. Um, but as dusk falls, uh, two individuals come up and they, uh, they're older men, you know, don't really give a shit kind of angry that they have to work late hours and they're like, what do you idiots order wood? Yeah, we did. Oh, okay. Here you go, chief idiot. Here's some wood. And they give you the equivalent of several two-by-fours. You need something else? Only several two-by-fours? This ain't gonna do shit for a barricade. <laughs> uh, they're, everybody's boarding up their windows, man. Wood's expensive. You guys are getting it for free. <laughs> I'm going to yell down to the people that are in the boat. What are y'all doing down there, guys? Come on. We're being safe. But you're not supposed to be out. It's like, you know, against the rules. So can y'all just. Actually, the Viceroy didn't say anything about river traffic. Uh, it is clear that the river has been built up. So uh, the reason the plaza is so shitty is because. They built a nice culvert for the river. It's it's soon to be L.A., but it's a nice culvert. Uh, you probably could scale it if you had to, but right now it's kind of a pit of death. Hmm. <clears throat> but yes, the Viceroy did not mention anything about river traffic, only foot traffic. So you guys are just going to sit there and watch the show, huh? Everybody roll perception checks. 13. Oh, nice. Ooh. 
21. All four of you notice revelers on both sides uh, are making their last ditch efforts. There are several beer and wine vendors as well as La Rata on a stick vendors. Uh, there's a lot of cow shit on your particular bridge. So the stampede uh, hey, boss, that went here, this bridge smells a lot like Rosa. So uh, two uh, minotaurs are running full tilt towards you guys. Who is running at us? Two minotaurs. Oh. From the area you were just at. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Wait, is it is it before or after Kurt, you know? Probably right there at the end. I'm gonna let him go. Let's let him through then, yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Appear to be female bovine, uh, but minotaur, uh, not just regular cows. Uh, and they rush to the other side, and somewhere a loud gong is heard. Get ready. Uh, with all your perception, uh, you hear a low humming noise coming from the Washington Bridge as these loyal knights are, I don't know, singing some dipshit tune of courage. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> nice, yes. More like oh, yeah. the flight of the bumblebee. <laughs> uh, That's hard to sing, man. That's hard to sing. I'm going to uh, draw the, the water out of the river and I'm going to uh, cast my channel divinity on that, which is going to make this into a delicious brew. Okay. Cool. And, and I'm going to <clears throat> hand, you know, a cup to each one and tell them, here, drink this. This should uh, help us in our endeavor. Guido is going to set the chair in the middle of the bridge, and then he's going to pull out of his pocket a stick of chalk, and he's going to put a chalk line from side to side on the bridge, about 10 feet from the chair either way. And then he's going to say, boss, you want to take a seat? Sure, thanks. Take off of it. Take his jacket off. Fold what an it. Ass kisser. <laughs> take his jacket off. Fold it. Hang it on. Hang it on the back side of the chair. Stretch That's a little. Awesome. Flex. Show off his war hammers and battle axes in their uh, straps, and then uh, open his case. Pull his maul out and stand it in front of him and wait. Uh, everybody, roll What's... a d twelve. I'll take the highest d twelve, please. What That's does good. the brew do when we drink the brew? Um, I put it in the chat so you get to choose what it does. What, what so, you uh, okay. so wait, you made enough doses for all three for all of us? Yes. Okay, cool. Uh, three plus your wisdom modifier. So this is a D twelve dove roll. Okay, yep. so oh I got God, a seven on shit. that D twelve. I get an eight. <laughs> I'll take that plus one to AC. <laughs> yeah, but what'd you roll on your D twelve? I got a one. Eleven. I got ah, a seven. Couldn't even look one. at it. Uh, Guido, as you uh, quaff the magical potion, uh, as your head tips back down, you see a pair of what look like to be... Ooh, I want this. Crows. Crows. And they, they seem to be looking at you, but they're taller. They're taller crows. Uh, everybody roll Arcana check. Zero. Oh, 18. Uh, yeah. 15. Uh, hey boss, do I hit him? Friar Craig and Rosa, you recognize so. these creatures as Kenku. Okay, and, and, they are, and they are on even the side you came from. I'm going to tell everybody to hold on to their stuff. Uh, the uh, Kikus are, walk. Yeah, go ahead. Kikus are known for uh, pilfering stuff. Uh, the Kenku walk right up to this line and look at it. Look at they're coming from the which side? The non your, the, your side. Uh, the they're trying to, side. They're trying to cross. No, doesn't appear so. They just walk up to the line. Stare at it curiously and then stare at Guido. Don't say a fucking word. 
You guys want to help us? We're guarding the bridge. Come on now. You can help. In a strangely uh, mimic sound, uh, one of them captures Delirio's voice perfectly. Hey, do you want to help us guard this bridge? The other one begins to laugh hysterically. How oh, can I hit him? Come on now. It'll be awesome. These uh, guys they, they hear Guido and the other one goes, oh, can I hit him? Oh, can I hit him? Uh, but not in Guido's voice, in a very mocking tone. And then... <laughs> I look. And it starts, starts doing the feet dance. <laughs> I, I look War at hammers, the... I said I wasn't going to use anything bladed, but my hands are full. Okay. Go ahead, Rosa. My AC's now 20. <laughs> I, I just look at them like, and I almost look bored at them. Okay. Like, are you... Is this supposed to be what? You're supposed to be intimidating and scary to us? Uh, the die roll says they're paying attention to Guido. So come on, come on, come on, put them up, put them up, put them up. Can I intimidate them by growling at them? You can try. Okay. These guys I'm, are. I'm an expert. Long timers. That's a 17 plus six is a 23, I believe. That's a good roll. It is. You got me, though. Uh, you got uh, me. Yeah. I see it. Yeah. <laughs> I just believe it. I, I couldn't well, make up the numbers. I still give him a... I believe he ate something well. <laughs> <laughs> the two are like... Bleh, and they retract themselves back onto the main section of the road. I'll definitely watch them go. And they're just going to go back and forth. About this time, Rosa, uh, you four are all watching the Kenku, right? Yeah. Uh, Rosa, there's a tap on your shoulder. <laughs> I just kind of slowly, you know. Yeah. If you slowly turn around. Yeah. You notice nothing. Who are you standing next to? Who was I standing next to? I don't know. I I was probably either Friar Craig or because I'm back a little bit from Guido. Odd Friar, even Delirio. Even Delirio. You get nudged in the side. I check for my bags. Hey, now, you can't cross here even if you're invisible, man. Oh, he's not invisible. It's a female halfling. And she oh. goes, is this lady always this dense? Because she doesn't even know where I'm at. <laughs> <laughs> at that time, Rosa, you've made the complete circle and you now have this halfling in between you and Delirio. What do you uh, want? She is looking at Delirio, has no idea you figured it out. I, I kinda... also crossed the line. Incidentally, I take my foot and I nudge her. Not kick her, but just kind of nudge. Can I help you? Why not? Well, we're the ones who are here. Can we help you? No, what do you I'm want? Just, just cross to the other side. Absolutely, oh. you can help us. You can absolutely help us. See, here's the rule is you can't cross, but nothing about you can't come help us guard. So you can come help. Oh, I have a pass. I'm allowed to go across. Then well, let's for, see it. I want to read the pass. Let's see it. She pulls it out. There's a some weird ass seal uh, with a big F on it, and then a bear is allowed to move to and fro throughout. Does it In look legit? Insight. I will have to insight you guys on that one. Um, that's not Ooh. bad. I got a good rule. Ask Guido. He don't. 24. Read. 14. Normally there are two E's in freedom. This document only has one. We both can notice that? Yep. It also asks you to go ahead and take your corporate earnings check and go ahead and transfer that in a zip file through, via email <laughs> to, to this individual. Can I take that paper like I'm going to look at it? 
Uh, uh, roll off D20. Just uh, add it. your dex modifier. Or is it going to say, or is it a uh, deception? Oh, fumble. Well, I didn't roll much better, but I can have my dad. So that's seven. It's not yeah, great. Five. So you snatch it out of her hands. Oh, look at this. It's a really bad forgery, and I rip it up. I guess you'll that, just have to go back to your side, or you can yeah. help us. That was an official document. No, it wasn't. You you need to learn how to spell. Uh, Friar Craig and Guido, are you keeping an eye on the Kenku, or are you trying to figure out what's going on behind you? Yeah, um, I'm keeping an eye on the Kenku, and when they get a little distance, I'm going to shoot a uh, Aldridge Blast into the air, see if I can... I heard a commotion like by the boss, so I have to go that way. Boy. I want to look behind. I want to look more like... Yeah. Oh, well, uh, Guido, who are you looking at? Well, I'm certain that if I heard the halfling over by the boss, I'd have to look that way. Okay. Uh, give me a perception check. Uh, 11. I don't have a bonus. I keep forgetting that. Uh, no, you don't notice it. Uh, <coughs> fine. Fine, fine, no trouble. Law-abiding citizen here. She starts to back away, goes back over to the Mino I side. Try to see, check my stuff to see did she take any of my stuff. Yeah, I actually already sure, said you guys I was could pat yourself down. I did that before. I actually grabbed the paper from her. Did she sure. steal anything? No. Okay. Not a thing. She's just trying to cross. Right. Uh, you guys are. Patting down, making sure you've still got all your stuff. Woo! Uh, an Eldritch Blast goes flying through the air, courtesy of Craig. <laughs> Misfire. Uh, <laughs> Again? It shoots off into the air, and the Kenku look <coughs> at it and go. <laughs> all of a sudden, <laughs> from the Minos district, <laughs> Vroom, vroom. Three projectiles go zooming up into the sky. Uh, everybody roll a d20. Make sure you don't get a one. Yeah, not a one. Nat 20. Eight. Uh, three projectiles explode over the bridge, uh, make a loud pop, and shower the sky in different colors. Uh, the Kenku, ooh, try that one, mage. <laughs> Uh, Rosa and uh, Guido and Delirio, give me perception checks. Not 20. I was hoping to save oh. that for a little later. All right, so perception is Ten. 13. Uh, all three of you smell the scent of burning shit as the halfling oh. gets to the far side, smiles and waves, and departs into a group of buildings. You look around and notice that she has left a flaming bag of what you hope is <laughs> dog do uh, underneath the wheelbarrow. <laughs> As can a prank. Can we just can we just kick it off the bridge carefully? Go right ahead. Means, go ahead. That would be littering, <laughs> man. Don't be doing what that. What kind of a check is that? No, just take a, uh, how far a you spread shit on the bridge check. Wait, what? D20? Just take a straight up D20. Not acrobatics? Nope, just straight up D20. How far you spread the flaming shit on the bridge? Uh, roll its dead middle, 10. Good news. Uh, you didn't kick it into the kayak in the river. Uh, <laughs> oh, <come laughs> on, oh, that would have been funny. Damn it. Been, it, it was going to be spread shit all over the bridge <laughs> in your shoe, kick it into the kayak, and you split the upright. So, yes! <laughs> uh, it's cool. Several more projectiles fill the sky, all from the lowlands, and you can tell that Friar Craig has initiated the pyrotechnic display. Uh, it's a tad early, though, so it's going to be a very long night. Uh, Maybe they'll run out before they get yeah, too they drunk. Get, yeah, exactly. They're going to use them up before they get drunk. I think this is a good plan. Sure. Uh, <laughs> sure. I'll, I'll, I'll buy that. Uh, as you... Uh, Sit through the night. Uh, Friar Craig, give me a D4. Four. Four hours pass. Everybody roll four D20s. 
uh, projectiles fill the sky for four hours at random intervals. Oh, wow. So we just don't want a one. Don't right? one. A one is what I'm looking for. I got a two. <laughs> I got a nat 20. Uh, wow. These I got good. you one, baby. Yeah, I actually I rolled three 14s in a two. <laughs> <laughs> Naturally, I rolled really well until the last one. Then I get a nat one. So can I, can, Kato has one. Rosa has one. Father Craig did. Can, Friar Craig. can the fact I did, I roll, wait, 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 can the fact that I rolled a nat 20 counteract the one? <laughs> Not tonight. It can't. Uh, <laughs> Two projectiles uh, land right on your position. Uh, so Guido and Rosa, you're going to take full damage from this. Friar Craig and uh, Delirio, you are going to take half damage from these. So... Uh, well, wait, 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 wait. Do I take full damage from two or full damage and half damage? Because I only made one one. Question. Yep. Yes. Can I see it incoming with my barbarian danger sense? No. <laughs> so, who wants to be with Guido and who wants to be with Rosa? Oh, so it is going to be only damage from... Split. It'll be split. Okay, so... All right. So, who... If it took... Fire oh, Craig, Guido would with... probably be next to me. I would uh, that's true. Father yeah. Craig, you are with Rosa. So, Guido and Delirio... Nine. Okay, I see how uh, Delirio, you take four. Rosa and okay. Friar Craig, ten. Ten Jeez. and five. Uh, it's a direct hit. Fortunately, the poop's already gone. Uh, <laughs> they cut see. for small favors. Ow! The first one happened in the first hour. Uh, that was Guido and Delirio. And was... uh, the second hour was Rosa and Friar Craig. Hours three and four uh, the tin cans take hits. Uh, you know what? Let me let me roll for them real quick. In, in the plenty of long time, I'm going to drink a potion of healing. Sure. Do we have any? I do. I don't think we got any before this, but I don't okay. Know. That's cool. You got a fourth level character. Yeah, I didn't. You didn't give us any potions. Yeah, I, I would say you would all have at least a potion. Of okay, that's why I was like, I may have missed the bra. That's why I'm asking. I may have missed it because nah, I came I, on like I forgot to do that because uh, right. I, I know what you guys are facing. But I'll give D each one of you a potion of healing. D eight. Uh, D eight plus two, no ones. Okay. So okay. Uh, four hours into this revelry, it's early. Good. It's. Okay, Not midnight, but it's midnight. About 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. Uh, you can hear uh, loud behavior both sides. Uh, Washington Bridge is quite silent. Uh, but because uh, the, the four tin cans stand uh, in resident against any interlopers. Uh, but you guys are down by the Minos sector. It is loud, loud, loud. Uh, and everybody roll perception check. That's my favorite brew. Fucking don't get that fuck out of here. I don't, I don't see shit. Uh, I'll just go with that. Uh, Friar Craig, there be two Minotaur carrying pony kegs headed your way. Oh, no. Laughing and joking around. Hell, good people. Can we tell if we see any of those uh, Piro picnics? Oh, or yeah. Is it look yeah. They got the pony keg in one hand and two Piro technics underneath their other arm. I call out, hey, guys, y'all need to, like, go back because you can't cross the street tonight, guys. Sorry. We just uh, want to go to Old Pepe's. Mm, nope. But you can't. It's against the rules, man. It's going to be a quick trip, my friend. Nothing nope. to worry about. Nope. Uh, we'll give you part of our brew. No. Well, we're just, you know, we can't We're guarding. It. We're guarding. We can't, we can't be drunk. Uh, da, 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 da. One of them steps forward and he goes, you are new to the city, right? Yeah, and they said you're not allowed to cross. That's the fine. Bridge. I am Count Malachi. Malachi? So? Count Malarkey? I yeah, can cross Malarkey. that. Did you guys not watch Happy Days? 
<laughs> yeah, no. Mal- the ago. Malachi brothers. Oh, okay. Just be told, no. Uh, this one guy, this Minotaur, he is pointing out that he is royalty. He is Count Malachi, uh, and you will let him pass. No, no, we really won't. Yeah, dude, no, nope. really. Boss says you don't pass, you don't pass. You're not an authority in this city. We would have to give up 200 gold. Now, if you can pay us each 200 gold, then we probably we could look the other way. I kind of look at, I, yeah, I look at, uh, wow. God, what those are your names? We will be back. Delirio, and I'm like, okay. well, <laughs> I like your style. They go back to their side of the bridge, seem to be having a discussion. Boss, smart, and rich. (laughs) They set their kegs down on the side. Their hooves are on it. Uh Uh-oh. One throws up his hands. They set down their pyrotechnics. (laughs) (laughs) And they're putting flint to steel. Oh, they're getting and, ready to right, shoot it. They, they have rested the pyrotechnics on the all barrels. Right. How far away are they? I'm they gonna are, shoot. They're about gonna, sixty feet. I'm gonna shoot an Aldridge blast, okay. which is liquid. See if I can drown out their uh, pyrotechnics blast. Sure. That's a good plan. Or Aldridge, yeah, it was A-L-E. first. Everybody initiative. rolls initiative. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, we just Not took that. a direct hit. Here. That wasn't too good. Uh, 21. Eight. 18. That's what I rolled. Friar Craig? It is a 16. 21. A Guido. Uh, hmm, those guys look like they're going to try and... Like right. that bitch. Well, I only have one thing to do about that, actually, which is that I'll move 30 feet toward them. I will then use my aggressive movement to, to bonus action, move the other 30 feet, and I will attack each of them. Well, one with on. one hand and one with either. Okay. Go ahead. I have, a, I have a weapon in each hand. 14 to hit. Uh, I hit on both of them. The first one... Gets my bo- strength bonus added. The second one does not. Do you guys know weapons. how hardy these fuckers are? <laughs> yep. Oh, okay. They're shooting first, really. Probably a lot hardier than we are. Um, I don't really care. Uh, the first one is going to take 14 points of bludgeoning damage, and the second mm-hmm. one is going to take 7 points of bludgeoning damage. Fair enough. 18. Rosa. All right. Well, I don't take I don't take that either. So I'm gonna make a move, use my cunning action to take a dash action to get in their grill because they're sixty feet away, and I will. I like the way she thinks. I was gonna say since I can't, I can't do, I will attack with my rapier, even though I'll have both weapons out. Good thing I took the. Advantage on charisma based skill and, checks. And I'm picking whatever one he's already attacking so I can have. Um, you attack both of them. I'll pick one. I'm I'll like pick that. the left one. Right. Whatever. You pick it. Oh, are you shit me? That one. Guido, you're the only one up there with her. Fucking you're up. taking this one. <laughs> well, well, wait, wait, wait. Now I can hit myself, right? Uh, I'll, I'll let you hit yourself. Odd Guido, even you. Yeah, I was like, I'll at least do that. Uh, even good. Okay, you hit yourself. Damn it! <laughs> Why my dice is so bad tonight? <laughs> well, I only do one point of damage, so it's one point. Fair enough. Uh, she gets fire, sneak attack just, against I, herself. No. <laughs> fire Craig, you and I. Tied. I don't believe I that qualifies. <laughs> All right, we're gonna try to douse that uh, those pyro nicks. Keeping in mind, you and I tied. <laughs> Oh, so what do we roll? B10, 12, roll off. No, we just, we will just tie. You will do oh, your you have to roll to hit first. Mine. Yeah, it's a to hit spell attack. Okay, so I did a 23. Oh, yeah, you hit him. But, well, actually, question. 
If he's attacking, is he attacking the pyrotechnics to douse it? Or is At the he same attacking time, they're him? lighting it. Right. Okay, so so it will hit the so it could douse the 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 light. Potentially. Okay, cool. That'd be good to do damage and For be you. able to do that. Because I oh, will awesome. be rolling performance to see if I like those bitches. All right. So it does six points of damage and of course it's ale, cold ale. So freezing. And I think, isn't that lamb? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's freezing yeah, cold. Unfortunately. It's freezing cold, yeah. Okay. Actually, and yeah, then, it might be flammable. I think it's flammable. But it went, but he splashed it all over them, so they're gonna light themselves. That <laughs> ale over forty percent. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Actually, think this one through. What did he splash it on? Pyrotechnics, <laughs> which are sitting on the bridge. bridge. No. Oh, the, the ale, of of ale, ale is sitting on there. <laughs> so you hit number two oh, for six okay. hit points. Oh, shit. Number one. The left one, performance roll, uh, is a 16. Two missiles are coming towards Friar Craig and Delirio. Shit. The important roll, though, number two, if he lights it, it's going to ground zero, uh, and we're going to have a broken arrow scenario for both Minotaur, yes. Guido, and Rosa. <laughs> that is a 19. <laughs> Kaboom! Uh, the rocket ignites just as your ale concoction hits it. Kabalam! <laughs> so, I'll start with the first two missiles at you two. Each of you roll dexterity. Uh, Friar Craig, since you were going at the same time, you got to roll at disadvantage. All right. Uh, what saving throw are we doing? Dex. Dex. That's That's a low bar. Just a one. So. Oh, oh, 17. Yes. 17. Not bad. 18. At disadvantage? Oh, wait up. Oh, <laughs> shit. Come on, baby. Do me right. Do me right. Seventeen. Oh, yeah. Okay. So you both take half damage from two missiles leveled right at you. Can I do a bonus action to see if I can use my telekinetic to push that five feet? No, because it went off at the same time. All right. Uh, oh, not bad. Thirteen. So uh, six damage to both of you. Guido, Rosa, Minotaur one, Minotaur two. Kablam! <laughs> uh, the Eldritch Blast Ale, the Ale Keg, the two rockets, the other Ale Keg. Boom! Ground zero. Uh, and you guys are at ground zero. There's really no save. So for any of you, you guys are all just hosed. It's an area, it's an AOE, right? It's right there. You guys are all in melee range, and the fireball is going to go 30 feet out in every well, it's direction. A fireball. It's got a center. 10, 5, 2, and 7, uh, 14, and 10. 24, 24. hit points. I'm down. Uh, the Minotaurs uh, have to make saving throws as well for something else. Uh, Minotaur 1, 13 passes. Minotaur 2, 10 does not. Angry. Ooh, that hurt. Uh, Delirio, end it for the first round. Uh, you see Rosa, she does the whole William Defoe. Uh. <laughs> oh, man. Um, unfortunately, I'm not a healer, so instead, I am going to use my mind sliver on either one of the minotaurs, either the one that looks the most hostile. Odd, uh, even it's it's a odd. Uh, you are going uh, after number one. All right. So what it is, they need to make a uh, intelligence check. 
I mean, intelligence saving throw. And if they fail, which is a DC 14, they take a D6 of damage and they lose reactions. Six. It fails. They failed. Okay. A three damage of psychic damage. And they lose reactions until until my, I guess, until I go again. So your next turn. Top of the order, Guido. Uh, no eyebrows. Uh, Rosa, no pulse. <laughs> Not dead yet. I don't bother Guido either. Um, I'm I'm going to bonus action rage, and then I'm going to smash the first closest one to me. He'll only get hit once, unfortunately. It'll be number one again. That is a twenty to hit, which is a twenty-seven. Mm-hmm. I'm going to roll that double damage and add my modifier. Where are we at? There's the other D8. Oh, yeah. Uh, seven and seven is 14 plus uh, five is uh, 19 points of bludgeoning a damage a breeze. Yeah, he's hurt. Uh, Friar Craig, uh, one of the Minotaurs appears to be on a That's knee. The, the other one is upright. All right, we're gonna we're actually gonna cast. Uh, uh, we're gonna do healing word. Okay. Actually, that's a bonus. No, action. I also think that's only thirty feet too. And if yeah, you, I was gonna you say, can move, uh, no you, range is sixty feet on healing oh, word. Oh, okay. I always thought it was thirty. <laughs> yeah, well, you well right. perfect. According to RD twenty or their site, it says. 60 yeah, feet. no, no, I absolutely no, believe it. I totally believe it. All right, so that's a bonus action. Uh, unfortunately, I rolled a four plus. It doesn't matter. It five, doesn't matter. So that's nine. You got nine points. That that's good because it means. I mean, I made. By the way, I think I technically go after Guido, so I did make a death save, and I actually made it. So. Oh, that's right. You do. I'm sorry. Yep, I made. So I did make it though. Okay. Yep, uh-huh. I, I rolled like a sixteen. So. Uh, as the healing vibes but I'm uh, at nine. roll over you, you notice <sighs> that your Minotaur is standing up. Uh, Guido, your Minotaur uh, takes aim at you. Holy shit, they can hit. 17 plus 6, 23. That, that hits. Uh, 2d12 plus 4. These fuckers pack a wallop. Yep. Uh... Six and three, nine plus four, 13 damage. Uh, Delirio, uh, it appears as though Rosa is up, looks fine, no worries. <laughs> well, she doesn't She's look fine. Down, yeah. No, I she, gonna, right, no well. I'm still prone. Oh, okay. I haven't had an action to get up I, because I've made my action was making a test. Uh, that's right. We're good. We're good. We're good. So she's, in, fact, in fact, she's sort of pretending, right now she's sort of pretending to still be down, if works. anything. Yeah. Um, Is, oh, you know what? I still have a regular action. That was a bonus action to heal. The healing. Uh, so is Guido... You can only cast one spell around. Oh. Okay. Well, you could cast a spell. It can get a cantrip in, right? Yeah. It could be a spell and a cantrip. It can yeah. be a cantrip. Yeah, so is Guido in between the two Minotaurs? Yes, because he right. hit both of them. All right, never mind. Actually, yeah, but you can they, still do it. <laughs> you can still do whatever you want. No, what I can do, though, is I can shoot a light crossbow at the one standing. Sure. Well, now the other one has gotten up, so it just didn't get to attack. It's uh, it's turn getting up. Oh, okay. So I'm shooting at the one that was already standing? Sure, is a four. One. Uh, 14, does that hit? 14 does hit. That is its AC. Uh, nice. Eight. Eight damage. Fair enough. Uh, Delirio, did you go that round? I can't remember. He did not. Not, not yet. Go ahead. Um, so I'm going to cast Dissonant Whispers on the one that attacked my bodyguard. Cause that's not cool, you know. That's not no, cool. That, that's not that's cool. A, man. That's not cool, man. No, no, no. Not cool. Boss. So, uh, I'm looking up what the. Uh, oh, it hurts. Happened. It's nice. Yeah, it's three to six, but I'm trying to look up 
what save is it? I think it's wisdom. Will I think it's wisdom? Yeah. 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 And okay. So that's, it's that's, wisdom. That's, that's not going to help you because they got great wisdom. Well, either way, fourteen is the DC and crappy well, rolls have roll like Frank. Plus fell three. off the table. Uh, twelve plus three is fifteen. Okay, then that one does not. Uh, do they take half? On a yep. successful tape, they take half. Oh, uh, um, the ones that fail, if they fail it, they uh, well, it's a it's a one person anyway. It's a one creature. And it w- you were going after the one that attacked them. Yeah, and so yeah. it's five damage, and half of that would be guys too. I rolled really poorly on three d six. So is it five or half of five? It's half of five, which is two. So yeah, they only did. Still alive. Uh, top of the order, Guido. Uh, yep. You guys pretty banged up. The other one is also standing. Uh, I, and I'll yes. give the I'll give the the banged up guy <laughs> uh, my offhand attack and give the uh, the guy that looks like he's in better shape the first one. Sure. Uh, it's a nineteen and a fourteen. Those both hit. Both hit. Um, and they're going to do that. The first guy. Well, which is number two, gets um, eight plus five, 13 points of bludgeoning, and the second guy gets eight points of bludgeoning. Nice. Got it. Uh, Friar Craig. Now, are, are you. Wait, I think. Oh, that's right. Rosa. I think I'm next. I'm going to use half an action, half a move, half my move to stand. Gosh, I wish I was fifth level. And I'm going to take an attack with each of my weapons and with flipping hit with something. Well, God, those are friggin' shit. God, what the? They're both less than 10. There's no ones. Uh, no, one's an 11. Nope. Swing into this. Apparently, uh, the blood in your eye from the skull. Yeah. Wound. Yeah, no, well, now you don't have an eyebrow, so the blood just. I was gonna say I don't know if there's much blood; it's all burns. Oh, like uh, his shrapnel, I guess, from the barrel itself. Oh, you. Most you of your wounds are cauterized. Stick in your head. You yeah, like sure. Most of your wounds are cauterized. Uh, okay, Friar Craig, you and I. Even if you kill one of me, I'll still get my attack in. All right, we're gonna do clockwork bolt. On oh please don't miss. Please miss. Please miss badly. <laughs> miss and hit if you only if you hit him. Oh, yeah. Twenty. Natural nice. twenty. Yes. Yeah. All right. So six yeah, damage. Um, both. Um I was trying to figure that out on R20 it says up to two creatures within five feet, but uh, no, that'd just be That's one in Guido because he's in between them. Um, but then I was, I looked it up and I, I think it might be just one. It's okay. cart where ball doesn't it? Doesn't it work like you shoot something with an actual bow or, or something? Yeah. And then on, on the, when your next turn starts, if they didn't use their action during the meantime to knock it off. It expl- it like splinters out into like blades, and that that does additional damage to whatever your yeah. normal damage is on your to hit. Yeah, so I think it just does one. It does the da- the six is just basically the crossbow bolt. And but you get two it. dice since you critted, so you do get the two crossbow bolt damages. Oh, that was a spell. That was a spell. Oh, but I, rule. okay. Wait, never mind. I don't house understand. Rule, I thought yes, you house rule, no spell critical hit. And then, um, and monsters do not get critical hits either. All right. So then, as a bonus action, we're going to do another healing word on uh, Rosa. Rosa. So, how much damage did you do to it? Six? Six. Correct. Six. <laughs> I'm bringing my catafax to cacophony. It's like they're letting off fireworks in our neighborhood. So, the barking is from my dog going nuts. We, we my, have my cat something. hears your dog barking. Yeah. Something has been going off over our heads. You know what's really nice when it's flipping raining and no one's outside shooting off fireworks. Hey, you don't live where I do. Right? No, trust we get we, the, we get kids. We get 
kid teenagers next door that do it. And I've actually well, I mean, never rains here. Oh, I mean, I actually had to call. No. The, I actually had to call the cops because they were doing it like friggin' one o'clock in the morning and people trying to sleep. And then I found out I wasn't the only one in the neighborhood that called them. So Guido, fifteen hit you? No. Nope. Oh, wait. Uh, wait. How much? How much healing? Nine. From the healing word? Nine. You oh. got nine. Uh, you're gonna need nine. it because that's uh, eighteen plus five. So you got crushed again. And like I said, two D twelve. Who's wait? Who's this kid hit me? You. You. Yeah. Well, twelve. Double Dang! <laughs> 12? 24, Did you try not to get hit? I can't. 24 this plus one. 4 is 28. <laughs> you took 20, wait, 28? Yep. 2D, 12 so, and 12. I'm so flipping confused as to what's going on here. You're, you're severely unconscious. Uh, it's you not, feel it's the, the not dead. Pulse and then you get hit. Uh, Delirio uh Guido's is really looking 28, bad. 28, 28. <sighs> All right. I'm As gonna is go. Rosa. <laughs> I think I'm going to up my, uh, my, whatever, my, okay, get a little bit more are, serious guys, here. You guys are friggin', tr you guys are friggin trying. Just, <laughs> well, I'm I, using I, not, not much you can do. It's the, the dice, dice are trying to kill you. Dice, give us the dice the way. Go ahead, Delario. I'm so using mine. Tasha's mind whip. This is a 90 <laughs> foot range. Oh, that uh, psychically dog. lash out at one creature you see within range. Wait, nine feet though. Ninety. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you got it does three to six psychic, and they get a saving throw. Um, intelligence saving throw. This is an intelligence based one. All right. Uh, save or suck, or is it half damage? Uh, no, it's it's half damage, but there's other effects if they fail it. They have one hit point left, so. Uh, and that's a three uh, intelligence minus two. That's a one. So they fail. Okay. Well, they took 13 psychic. Dead. Uh, Guido, your Minotaur gets a crack in its skull and it just opens right up. Thanks, uh, boss. Uh, uh, top of the order, Guido. Uh, Rosa, smash. are you down or are you just hurt? Um, are you kidding? You did 28 points of damage. I have 27 at full. <laughs> Dang. Anyway, uh, I have enough. I had enough hit points in the bank. I mean, really, so it wasn't like at one hit point where you would have actually killed me by doing 28. He's got a large really laceration here. I was thinking more like these are like four, so she's probably like, like her. While well, her ribs are like just smashed, you know. So Guido, you want to save one. her or go after nope. the bludgeoning the shit out of that other one? I don't uh, think that's Guido an eighteen can do and a twenty. Hit. Say again. Eighteen and a twenty to hit. Yep. Uh, they're both on the same target this time because there's only one. Correct. Uh, so that's eight and five is thirteen plus five, eighteen points of bludgeoning damage. Got it. Uh, Rosa, that's death save. save. Uh, that's above a 10. That's 17. That's above a 10. Prior Craig. All right. Um, we're going to shoot her. <laughs> Not her. <laughs> Let me rephrase that. You're going to shoot gonna... me. Are you sure? Why not? <laughs> You know what? You I, 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 I swear to God, if you heal her and she gets up, that minute is going to put a fucking blade right through her skull. There's the dying. <laughs> All right. We're going to... Uh, or do you want me to go first? Clockwork bolt to okay. uh, to that one. Intelligence uh, check again. You guys said you get a stabilize over there that warp. They 18 can get to 60 minus feet. 2, 16. <laughs> I'll take that. All right. Well, I wrote a 15 with the, uh, for the, so I'm doing an intelligence check, 17. No, am, no, am I? Clockwork Bolt? Oh, I'm oh no. Yeah, no, no. Clockwork Bolt. It's a range because, spell attack. It's a oh, range okay. spell attack. And it does 1d8. So seven. And then if they don't pull it, it does additional. 
He, he's not going to pull it. Fuck that bullshit. Uh, and then bonus action, we're going <laughs> to healing. Yeah, you you want to wait till I go to the bonus action it, or you just want to risk it? Oh, yeah. I guess I could, right? I, I'll, I'll give you the choice. You can risk it. Well, they, I mean, you are going simultaneously. So, I right. mean, it's like you, you could have just do it to finish the turn and keep the turn all one thing. But I, I mean, I'll, I'm, I'll not, I'm not going to get up. Okay, even if he does it, I am not getting off the ground. All right, we'll do it. There. Okay. With my eyes closed. Uh -oh. I'll make bluff uh, checks. Eight. Eight? Okay. I will make deception checks on my turn if you want me to. Odd um, even. I've done that before. Three. Coming at you, Guido. 16 plus five, 21. That hits. 2d12. Bring it. 12 and a 6, 18 plus 4, 22. Guido is down. What the fuck? Uh, FYI. Even at half? Are, the Paladins are fine. Uh, Even Delirium, taking half? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I should take half of that. Never yeah, mind. Yeah, you're up. taking half damage on all these Forgot. hits. It's physical. Delirio, you're up. Actually, it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm totem. I want to toss oh. this guy. So he needs to make it's an end save. Better. 19 oh. minus 2, 17. God dang it, oh, man. Okay. He made it, but he still takes half of 9. So. Four. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Top of the order, Guido. Can yep, you put yep. him down? Same plan, not down. Uh, that's a, a natural 20 and a... Oh, thank God. So that's a 25 on the first one, and a... Oh, that second one hits two. So right. the first one is going to be 8 and 6 is 14 plus 5 is 19. And the second one is an 8. So a total of 27 points of bludgeoning damage. Rosa, you're up. Two hit points. I'm going to get up. God, I just have to make one friggin' hit. One, 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 one. No, that's two hits. And I believe, let me grab my glasses. <clears throat> I think that's a nat 20. Are there two, are there two, are they, are there only one still up with two hit points? Yep. Well, that I just obliterate them because I okay. rolled a 16 and a nat 20 on my dice. Uh, you and know, sneak I, attack. I timed this out perfectly because. Oh, shit, you did. Now. <laughs> I'm the other party. <laughs> you hear from the other side, as pyrotechnics continue to go off, you hear an old man's voice yelling, damn you kids, and the skies open up with water and one bolt of lightning. Everybody, D12, high, the low roll is good, taking a hit. Oh, it's uh, Why bother? Oh, it's going to be... 12. Three. Roll to four. Nope, that's not going to be me. Eight. Fuck. Two. Oh! <laughs> yeah. I thought the four was going to lose. Did Damn. Damn. Uh, the lightning bolt calls <laughs> down from the heavens as the skies open up, ending all this bullshit py pyrotechnics. But Friar Craig, an eight... A six and a two. 16 hit points of electrical damage. Uh, uh, that was quite shocking. <laughs> Fortunately, I'm still up. Uh, one last thing Delirio perception check. Muted. 17. Uh, one Kenku is to your left. One Kenku is to your right. Do you want us to go help your friends now? Sure, kick, are you going to help? That's cool. Kick them off the bridge. They walk past the electrified Friar Craig <laughs> who has steam coming off his head, walk right past Rosa and right past Guido and go right into the Minotaur Corps. <laughs> hey, wait, wait. Can I... Hmm. Oh, yeah. I kick one on the way by. I was going to say, Actually, if they're going to pass me, I get an attack of opportunity. You like to engage them in it. Well, 
I want to shove them in. It's I want to do a bonus you, action you guys, to shove them. You guys don't know they're coming. Uh-oh. Yeah, but they, walk, they, they, they walk pass. by. They walk by, and as soon as they leave, my threatened square, and I got yeah. weapons out. I yeah, I want to. To be honest, I don't want to do. I mean, it is it is ten o'clock, so I I don't. Want, I'm not trying to do anything to start a real fight. Actually, I would just go, boss. I I your boss let him pass. I would like to uh, do the bonus action to shove him into the uh, water. You are barely conscious. <laughs> I want no. When they walk me, actually, that's what I want. If I gotta kick it, I just yeah. I want to. I want to. I want to shove one into the to the river. I will rule that you guys have survived and successfully did your duty, uh, and you can brush off the allowing <laughs> Tenku to wander across as a non sequitur. Uh, John, what would you think of this debacle? <laughs> it was pretty funny. <laughs> really funny. I am glad you enjoyed it, and I'm glad I didn't kill you. <laughs> Carol, I'd like to say the same thing, but I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I I really kind of question that ruling about not allowing a reflex save because I mean you think fireballs sort of do the same thing they have a point in the middle where they go off just right and you, you were in melee that, co- you were in melee combat with them you, you guys were ground zero no 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 yeah but you could be in, with a melee combat of a center of a fireball and you still get a reflex save. Mm. I mean, I don't get evasion. I don't Not get evasion. here. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of. I kind of question that ruling. I think that was. I mean, and the. I mean, it, we're not talking here a huge difference. I mean, you would have friggin' still put a great deal of hurt on me. I might have been conscious, but well, uh, I'll tell you what. This fall, that's, gather that's a it. bunch of leaves together, <laughs> stand in the middle, it's and douse it fire, <laughs> and then drop a match. I'm, and consider your movement evasion. <laughs> uh, don't you, no, it's D and D. It doesn't work like that. Reality and D and D are two different things. You're right, but tonight it works still bar way. Uh, now talk. <laughs> now nah, I just wait my you, turn. You, you knew it. It is your turn. <laughs> well, I meant until the Pepsi you. swallowed. I ain't spewing Pepsi. Uh, it was good. I just wish I'd remembered to be having my damage after I raged. Oh, God, I you was, didn't I have was, any of it? I was, I was really curious as to that. I'm I like, just had to knock I, it down. I keep track of it, so all I had to do was back up, and it's fine. I did not see. Yeah, I didn't realize you weren't having it until you said you went down. I'm like, how the I hell did I didn't get to have it down? until after the fireball. The fireball I took full damage from. I right, yeah, her. yeah, that one you would, but I thought. Oh, that was a lot of damage. <laughs> I thought you took I physical was. damage before. Well, maybe you did. And it didn't matter if I'd have been raging; I'd only taken half from that. But yeah, Jeff, I'm, gl- I'm glad I said something though. <laughs> I liked it. Holy it was fun. crap, man! I, I I knew Delirio was going to kill him. I mean, he was down a shit ton of hit points. So uh, if he hadn't, he wouldn't have gotten another. And I mean, Friar Craig was still going to have another shot at him before Guido died. So, folks, this has been Murder Hello Inc., the uh, da, 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 one shot edition. Uh, thanks for sticking around. We appreciate it. Don't forget to follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about DD, join our Discord. If you want to buy our crap like this, you know you uh, want to buy it. Go to our shop. Uh, if you want some customized dice, like old Big Red, who really put the hurting on these fuckers <laughs> tonight, uh, check them out at Pirate Dog Dice. And if you want your game to smell like victory, uh, try some Adventure Sense by <laughs> oddfishgames.com. Also, they make the Shine System, so if you want to learn how to write much more gooder than me, try them out. Coming soon, Kickstarter for an RPG with the cat. Not on freaking Independence Day Eve, though. Jesus Christ. Uh, Murder Hobo Con. I don't have to talk about it because it's going to be fucking awesome. Uh, So go to the website if you're a DM, GM seminar or a panelist. uh, Submit an event. Uh, If not, tickets are going on sale this week for the events. Got a shitload of events already. Uh, It's going to be off the hook. Uh, More items coming in. Murder Hobo con.com folks for all of us here at murder hobo inc catch us tuesday on between the rolls uh have a safe fourth of july try not to blow any digits off don't be a rosa <laughs> she didn't <laughs> blow any digits off she they just freaking got... 
So <laughs> be a delirio in your world. Don't be any of the other three. <laughs> Folks, uh, Dating Game Kiss and Wade, we're out of here. Mwah! Safe holidays, folks. <laughs>